Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics with Tim and Jacko and today we are looking at why your pull-ups aren't good enough for muscle-ups. Sometimes we find that people are absolutely bashing out pull-ups but they just can't seem to get above a bar and they're like, well, I can do 20 pull-ups, why can't I do a muscle-up? Well the problem is your pull-ups aren't specific enough. The muscle-up is a power-based movement and when you want to train capacity to get the strength to get those first few reps in the bank, you need to take a slightly different approach and in today's video we're going to show you exactly what that is. Check it out. This one requires a little bit of a background and explanation because we're going to call it pull-ups for muscle-ups. And the reason for that is if you're just doing normal pull-ups and you're just pulling up and just nudging your chin over the bar, wondering why you, for some reason you still can't do a muscle-up even though you could do 20 of those in one go, it's because we need to start to train a little bit more specificity for our pulling patterns for our muscle-ups. Now we've given you lots of applied strength exercises which are a lot like the muscle-up and developing that specific strength, but this one is going to fit into a capacity strength program. If you want to just put some basic pulling strength but you want that to continue or transfer over into your muscle-up training, this is how you need to do your pull-ups. So Tim's going to start a couple of things of, that are going to be different. It is starting through a completely dead hang position, so being really strict on that. So completely shoulders by ears, and then he's got to go into an active position before he starts pulling, but he's getting used to being in that dead position. The other thing is you'll notice that pause at the top. So that's the difference between him just saying chin above the bar and come back down to get above the bar as high as you can. And then also that isometric hold at the top is a little bit starting to think about that transition between pulling and then pushing. So he's almost thinking about trying to push down on the bar when you're at the top there to keep you a little bit higher, build up some of that isometric strength in that top position to give you a little bit of room for maneuver in when you want to enter that transition. And neurally, it's just teaching us a little bit of like, pull up doesn't end up where the chin is and we're thinking about um, pulling and then getting in towards uh, a push. So it's the quality of something like the ones before compared to just nudging the chin above the bar. You can see the difference. 10 of those compared to 10 of the first one, that's where the difference is gonna come be. And so rather than it being a game, uh, the muscle up being a game of like how many numbers of how many pull-ups you can do, it becomes a game of quality and how fast and how high you can pull. We hope that's helped you with your muscle up goals and gave you some ideas of things that you can work on to help you with those muscle ups. Please like this and share it with any friends that are also working on their muscle ups. And then if you've got any other sticking points or problems with those muscle ups that you want to help with, let us know in the comments. And if you want to take a bit of a deeper dive into your muscle up training, we've got a completely revamped and enhanced course for both the ring and bar muscle up in our online training platform, our virtual classroom. Fully backed by training science and years of strength and conditioning coaches working with loads of people to teach them to successfully get above the bar or above the rings. And we would love it if you'd go and check it out. Class dismissed.